Now, Carolyn, what do you think about uh, the need versus the want? Would you mind distinguishing the difference between the two when it comes to relevant to uh, children, participation in their personal finance? You know, that is so important to have those appropriate age-based discussions and help the child look at it and see, is this a need or is there a want? Why do you need it? Why do you want it? Mm. And so that helps them to learn how to prioritize their spending Exactly. Budget. Yeah. Now, that brings up the topic of interest. This is a very, very important topic. Yes. Uh, need to learn and teach the yes. power of interest yes. and how money works and how interest impacts uh, your savings. Yes, mm -hmm. because you can teach the children the difference between good interest, uh, like you get when, uh, from savings, exactly, and what we'll call bad interest when you are late in pay paying your credit cards or whether you pay that late fee and so forth. So there therefore, they can learn the difference. Exactly. Here's something I want to add to that too. Uh, take your child to the bank mm -hmm. or credit union and open a savings account. Then we can teach them how to calculate interest, and they could see uh, the 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 value of their uh, their savings increase and over time. And I refer to it as free money. Now, uh, what was interesting, in, um, I know in high school, when Sean was in high school, now he, our grandson is in high school and now he's in college. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember uh, we opened a savings account for him early on. Now, he had, just before he got out of high school, he says, well, I'm not too pleased with the interest that yes. I got from this bank. Uh, grand, granddad, I want to learn more about mutual funds and stocks. And so, as a result of that, uh, we're teaching him now how to invest. So he'll be fiscally responsible when he bec when he as he matures, I put it that way. Uh, also require that your kids save a certain percentage of their allowance and birthday money. Review the monthly statements with them. Uh, and pointing out how interest has increased the value of the uh, their account. Uh, this is this is great. I, I've got to share this. Okay. When children meet their savings goals, consider matching their savings. Um, I was talking to a young fella, and uh, I talked about the fact that you know there you should save money. And what are your parents doing about? Are they rewarding you for saving money? Well, we got that great idea of matching the funds for our own children and grandchildren. Let's say, for example, uh, if Kobe, the youngest grand saves $10, we give him $1. That's 10%. That's free money. That's and see, he's beginning to understand, folks, that if you match his savings, it can also correlate with the real world. And, and, and I just want to get off on a tangent just a little bit, <clears throat> the real world, about there's single digit companies today that offer a defined pension program. Over the last 25 to 30, 30 years plus, we as employees were thrust into contributing to our own employer-sponsored retirement accounts. And, and many of the private sector, uh, or I should say the private sector as well as the public sector, mm -hmm. offered ma uh, matching funds. And I've talked about that in many uh, seminars and, and, and uh, various public venues uh, discussing matching and how that's free money. Well, here we have our children. We can implement that uh, because, and also prepare them for retirement as well. Yes. Because most likely, they're going to have to uh, contribute dollars to their own retirement. And so the matching process, I think, is, is, a, uh, is a great tip for parents to reward their kids for just undertaking the savings element of those three components we talked about, sp uh, spending, paying yourself, we're going to reiterate that again, uh, and then sharing. Next, so we're going to take a short station break. We'll be right back after these important announcements. Minds can achieve anything. We make sure they get to college. Federal student aid provides more than $150 billion in grants, loans, and work study funds. 
to make college possible for anyone with the mind to get there. Because if given the chance, minds will do great things. Federal Student Aid, proud sponsor of the American Mind. Learn more about money for college at studentaid.gov.